In medicine, we're really good at telling people what they don't have, but sometimes it's really challenging to figure out truly what is causing their chest pain. If you've ever been to the emergency department for chest pain, two common tests that we'll perform right off the bat are troponin, a blood test, as well as an EKG, an electrocardiogram. Electrocardiograms are surface electrical interpretations of the heart and the rhythm that's going on beneath the surface. It can help us know if you're having a heart attack right this second or if you've had one in the past. A troponin is a protein found inside the cells of the heart. Whenever the cells of the heart are damaged, whether you're having a massive heart attack or getting kicked in the chest by a horse, Whenever the cells of the heart are damaged, that protein leaks into the blood and we pick it up in a blood test called a troponin. Together, that information helps us know if you're having active damage to the heart right this second and can help us delineate if you're having a heart attack or not. However, often patients leave the hospital saying, well, I'm not having a heart attack, but I don't know what really caused it. And that's often where following up with your cardiologist or your physician outside the hospital in order to potentially do a stress test can help delineate if you have some underlying atherosclerosis or narrowing of the arteries of the heart that could be contributing to or the culprit of your symptoms. But we can't know that unless we stress the heart, increasing the heart rate and making the heart consume more oxygen and seeing if your heart is able to accommodate an increased oxygen demand. Or if on that stress test, we see some abnormalities that can indicate blockages in the arteries of the heart. So when patients ask me if their chest pain is from their heart, I often tell them 